What's up guys, Captain Coin Collector here, and I got a box of quarters in front of me. This is box number 16, episode number 13 of The Quarter Hunt and Film. All right guys, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more coin roll hunts in the future. But let's get this box out of the way. Let's get it opened up, see if it is circulated, and hope we get some good finds such as silver, W's, and possibly an album fill. So it looks like we got some circulated quarters here. So I'll let you know when I find something good. Roll number one is going to give us our first 2023 quarter. So it's nice seeing some newer quarters in the mix. This one's only a Philadelphia. If it was a Denver, it would be one toward the albums. But again, a good sign seeing some of the newer quarters in circulation. Number two is going to have a common error on the Block Island quarter. We got a dyed chip right above the bird's body in between the tail feather. But another reason why I wanted to bring you in was because of this coin. I don't know why some people like to mark coins, but for a Philadelphia 2012 El Yunque quarter, with only just under 26 million minted, it's a shame to see these coins marked up. Of course, I'll be keeping it, but why would they mark such a beautiful coin such as this one? Well, number three, we're going to have an error I usually don't find too often nowadays, and it's going to be the die chip on George Washington's hat. If I zoom in there, you can clearly see that little die chip that's not supposed to be there, that extra chunk of metal on George Washington's hat. Number seven, guys, and we got ourselves a fill. We finished the 2023s before we finished the 2022Ds, but look at that 2023D that we just found, and of course, it's gonna be a Bessie Coleman. Great box, we have one fill. Let's hope that there's more fills, and by more fills, a silver or a W. Well, number nine, and we're gonna finish off that one book that we have, volume number 10, with this Anime Wong quarter. That's a 2022 Denver, our first 2022 Denver Anime Wong, and it will be another book filler. So, two album fillers in this one box. That is pretty exciting. It's been a while since I filled you guys in. We are on roll number 31 now, but we got ourselves a find, and it happens to be a 2019 W. You can tell it's a 2019 because there's no privy mark on the left-hand side of the obverse of the coin, so we're going to flip it over and see what we got. It's a War in the Pacific. Now, we already have a War in the Pacific quarter, but it's awesome to see another one to add to the collection. Roll number 43, and I found this pretty cool port starboard coin where it is red on one side and green on the other. Not that it is a big find, but uh, it's pretty cool to see a port starboard coin. Roll number 44, and we got ourselves our first extra leaf error on the 2008 Arizona State Quarter. Guys, it's late, I'm tired. It's 12.42 a.m. I wasn't looking at this roll properly. But we got ourselves a silver quarter, our first silver quarter of the year. Hear that, guys? Oh, my goodness. A 1962 is going to be another album filler. I wish we can put another silver quarter into the jar, but we're going to have to put this one into the albums, which is even better. And we got that Denver Mint mark right over there above the R in quarter dollar holy moly holy cow guys i was not expecting that especially with only four rolls left in the box roll 46 did deliver with a 1962 denver washington silver quarter oh my goodness the last few rolls of this box is pretty hot in that we got ourselves a foreign from the year 2000 quarter from gibraltar i've never found this one before let's open it up and see what the reverse looks like all right, guys, it's actually not a quarter. It's actually going to be 10 pence, but it is from Gibraltar, and it is from the year 2000 with Elizabeth II on the obverse of the coin, and we got the Europort on the reverse of the coin. So a pretty cool find in this Washington quarter roll, one coin that I've never found before. All right, guys, all in all, not a bad hunt. Definitely one of the better hunts I've had in the past we did find our first silver coin, so let's review exactly what we got. So we'll start at the top here. We did find a whole bunch of errors, nine in total. Six Block Island, two 
George Washington crosses the Delaware, and one Arizona, extra leaf. In total from the year 2009 to 2012, we found 33 coins, and leading up to that, we did find this one uh, 10 pence from Gibraltar, pretty cool, featuring the Europort on the back. We found two fills for our albums, the 2022 Denver, Anna Mae Wong, as well as the 2023 Denver, Bessie Coleman. But the best finds happen to be the last. I'm going to show you. It's the 1962 Denver filler silver that we found, as well as that W mint mark, War in the Pacific, Washington Quarter. So awesome two finds at the end of the box. Really looking forward to putting another silver in the book. So let's go ahead and see what we can actually fill and potentially upgrade into our albums. Volume number one isn't going to have any fills, but volume number two, we got ourselves a silver coin, as noted as before, a 1962 Denver that we happen to have a spot in our albums for. So volume number two is finally going to get the first fill in this album since episode number two, box number three, back in September. So here we are, guys. 1962 Denver added to the books. From volume two, we're gonna jump to volume number six where we'll have one upgrade and it's gonna be the Wyoming 2007, Philadelphia. Volume number seven is the 2009 album, which also duels as our 2020 W album. No 2020 Ws today, but we do have an upgrade for the 2009 Philadelphia Northern Marina Islands quarter to make. Volume number eight is also gonna have one upgrade and it is our 2010 Denver. Hot Springs. Our last album, volume number 10, this hunt is going to make a huge contribution in that we found the 2022 Denver Anime Wong. We are going to upgrade the 2023 Philadelphia Bessie Coleman because we found a bad example as our first time ever finding the coin and we will be filling the 2023 Denver Bessie Coleman as well. So three coins from this hunt going into this last album. Our last album that we're going to take a look at is our blank book, because not only do we have our S mint marks in here, but we also have our 2019 extra W's that we have found. And like I said, we got one W from this hunt, and that is yet another WITP War in the Pacific. So another one added to the books, and I like the sight of that. All right, guys, quarter hunted film number 13, box number 16, has come to an end. And again, what a great box. We got three fills this time, which means that we're 310 out of the 404 quarters in the collection complete, 76.7%. In addition, we finished off the 2023's Philadelphia and Denver's that are currently released. So again, we'll finish on finding those four W's that we need and... 80 silvers that we need but again we did find one today and that is a step in the right direction i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the quarter hunt and fill series thank you for sticking it to the end and comment down below whether or not you've been finding silver this year again this is my first silver quarter found in the year which reminds me i gotta make note of that in our silver jar so unfortunately, I can't put the quarter in the jar because it's going into our album, but we'll mark it down as one quarter filled and put it in our jar. And that marks the fifth silver coin we found in 2023 so far. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching and happy hunting.